Welcome to Nollywood Radio France. I'm your host, Cyprian Johnson. We thank our partner, Balance and Art, for the permission to use this audio file. Please stay tuned. territory but um, international distribution um, to an extent has really not come forth. Uh, the film has done quite a number of um, features outside of this continent. It's been to India, it's been to Japan, it's been featured in quite a number of film festivals but uh, um, getting general release you know in, in box office outside of Africa, you know, has been a bit diff it's difficult, and I think it's a problem with an average uh, independent film from an independent filmmaker. Uh, but b by and large, we sort of have recouped uh, the investment, you know, uh, put put into the film. And your next film is October one. What's what's the story? When's that coming out? Okay, October 1, uh, it's uh, a story set in Nigeria in 1960 and uh, against the backdrop of Nigeria independence. And uh, it's, 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 it's a story of a detective who is from the northern part of Nigeria who got summoned by the colonialists at the verge of independence to resolve uh, a, a series of murder cases in the southwest part, part of Nigeria. And he has to do this uh, two weeks to the independence before the Nigeria flag is raised and the British flag lowered. And this is a tough assignment? It's, it's, it's the toughest I've ever, I mean, project I've ever embarked on. But um, somehow we've been able to conquer it. And who's starring in the film? Um, well, it's a blend of uh, some British actors. Um, I have David Bailey, who featured in Pirates of Caribbean. Um, I have Nick Rees, who has done quite a number of stuff on BBC uh, and other, uh, other films. I have um, Nick uh, Lawrence Tobbins, and I have uh, Collins David Rees. And in Nigeria, I have um, Sadiq Daba, who is a veteran actor. From, from the 60s. Um, I have uh, Fabian Logedi, who is a star in Jacob's Cross, a popular TV series by Mnet, and uh, myself, uh, Demola De Doi, and, and quite a number of, you know, a lot of oh, great yeah. actors, yes. Yeah. And what's the budget for the film, and how was that raised? Uh, the budget for the film is $2 million. Uh, That's a lot for a Hollywood film. That is a lot, yeah, for any film that has been done in this in this in this place. But uh, so far, we've spent over a million dollars, and these are self-raised. I mean, uh, uh, we got a few sponsorship, you know, funding from within Nigeria, from um, Toyota Nigeria, for example, um, Elizabeth Motors, uh, Lagos State Government, uh, Guinness. You know Nigeria and, and uh, sovereign trust insurance, and the rest, they are my own personal funds. Okay, so when is the film releasing, and where will it show first? Uh, where at the moment I'm hoping that we can get a slot at the festival. You know, maybe can can is in May. You know, but where we'll probably do a local premiere in Nigeria in in April because I need to start paying my loan. You know, from the bank. So. Um, you know, but I, I think the film should be ready by February, I mean by, by April, more like it, and we're hoping to release any time after then. And um, filmmaking in Nigeria is fantastically tough, mm -hmm. so why did you do it? Why did you put yourself through this? Well, because I don't see myself do any other thing. I, I think I've been able to master, you know, how to crack and break the rock and, and uh, I, I've just, it's just uh, been, I mean, from one project, is I've, I've been improving on, you know, every aspect, you know, of the production, from from sourcing for fun and, and to the aesthetics of, of, of the film itself. Uh, and um, 
October 1 is, is, is a bigger story. And when I saw the courts that we already have, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that, in, not in Nigerian cinema, but in world cinema. And you're hoping to get it into Cannes? Yes. Hopefully, it can. I mean, you know, festivals are funny, and they might get a preview and say, we're not sure our audience will feel with this, uh, you know, but I think it's a good enough film you know, for everybody to see. Uh, you know, production value-wise, it's it's top shot. If, if, if I don't tell you the budget of the film, you'll probably think it's $20, $20 million, just like an average, no, I mean, Hollywood film, you know. But, uh, you know, and the story, it's something very universal. And it's something that, you know, an average African country, you know, that, was at some point, you know, colonized by, you know, whether American or British or Europe, you know, will have some sort of sense of, you know, uh, um, that they, they can feel it because they see themselves in, in the story. And it has another angle to religion that I think is affecting the entire world right now. And anybody who sees it will be able to relate to the film.